Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Let's Play Minecraft. This is your host Sonic Blue, and I am going to show you something fun that we can do. I've been really busy in Minecraft here, but what I really want to show you in this episode, if you can see all the different types of banners we can make. Look at all these banners. And you can make the most picturesque and most fancy banners that you will ever imagine and you are only limited by your imagination but there are many many different techniques you can use look you can even build American flag see that yep and there's the Japanese flag in the background there there's the Jolly Roger and there's a um, that's a pennant for the uh, Vikings <laughs> Minnesota Vikings um, I'm not really a fan of Minnesota Vikings as much as I am a fan of the Ravens but I couldn't get any deeper purple than that so that looks more like a Vikings uh, pennant than a uh, Ravens pennant um, and uh, I've made uh, well I tried to also make the uh, the Union Jack um, as you can see I couldn't really do a very good job of it uh, it takes a lot of coordination to put the Union Jack together because you got your your reds your whites your blues and it's a little in intricate uh, design so what I did was uh, I just made like a, a white version uh, a white and blue version and a red and blue and red and white version and just put suns over them and uh, this was my first attempt at trying to do the Union Jack and I thought well that kind of looks kind of plain without something there to in the middle of it so uh, it started out as the Union Jack and it ended up being, um, well, that. And uh, then I wanted to do something for the deserts, and so I put that one together. And then I put this one together because I forgot that I had already made the one with the red sun, and I made one with the orange sun, so that yielded another treasure box. So there are many different types of banners that you can make, and there are no limits to what you can do. Well, actually, I take that back. There are limitations as to what you can do with the banner. Uh, you can basically run it through five times before it gives up. Uh, you can only fix up a banner five times in a chest, or you can only have five attributes added to your banners. Uh, I think the most work I put into one of these banners would have to be... Oh, which one? Which one would that be? I know it's one of my more recent ones, which they would be over here. I think these ones over here are like, took a lot. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, these banners took a lot of putting through the uh, crafting table. And you're only limited to one, two, three. Well, that one's four, but the other one had five attributes to it. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll take that back. Six. Six attributes. So you can run it through six times before the banner says, no more, I cannot be designed anymore. And then you're left with whatever, you know, actions you put on it. Now, I put this one together to be funny. This is a uh, uh, No Creepers banner. Yeah, and... Um, but uh, I'm going to show you basically how to get these results in your banners. And all you need are lots of banners and a crafting table. See, I put my crafting table in. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Just put that in there and then you get locked inside with your crafting table so you can actually craft in peace and then when you want to get out you just hit that button back up and then you're out Isn't that neat <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat yeah I mean I think this room deserved to have something of a decoration inside of it because I knew I had to leave it empty for a reason and folks I have not even begun to start mining down there yet because of all of these things that I'm discovering and all these different places to discover and uh, what do you think about this design up here, too? I made it look more like a castle. You like that? I kind of like that touch. I, th I think I do. But the only drawback is now it's left this wide open. I don't want to put, like, anything else over here because it would look just totally bizarre. So now when I go upstairs, I have to be careful not to walk back this way because then I'll fall right back in again. That's the only drawback to that design flaw. That's the only design flaw right there. Now, I could cover that up and just have it go one, two, three, four. In fact, I might just do that. But I'll do that later. Um, right now, let us get to some crafting on banners. Okay, now what we have here are a whole bunch of different banners that we can work from and a whole bunch of dye. There you have your whole collection of dye and your whole collection of basic banners that you can work with. Now let's start off with something simple. Let's grab some white banners. And in order to make a banner, all you need is one stick and six blocks of wool. And you place your sticks down here, 
your wool up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you get banners. So now you take your already crafted banner, and let's say you, well, want to just stain it a different color. Well, no, that's not the way you do it. You just take your uh, wool, and um, the, for whatever wool you have, you have to color it that, that color of wool. So once they're already made into banners, what can you do with it? Well, I'm very glad you asked. Let's take a basic color. Let's do a black and white uh, uh, pattern. So you take your uh, basic one. You can just put a dot right in the middle of it just by putting your die right there and your, and your uh, banner down here. Or if you want black and white stripes, you would go like this. There you go. You got your black and white stripes. If you want a stripe going all the way across the middle, you do that. And if you want a stripe going down like that, or the opposite direction. You can also do like that and have it go in the middle. Or you can have half of your banner be black and half of your banner be white. This works with any color uh, die. And let's say you want to have a white banner fading into black with a nice gradient. You put it on an upside down T-shape with your white banner in the middle, and now you get a black base gradient. See, it starts off white, it goes to black. And I think the, the gradients really do look nice. Okay, now, like, if you want a pennant design, there's your inverted pennant or your inverted chevron. And if you want one on the top, then you do like that. Oh, wait, that's the inverted chevron. Okay, that's right. Usually chevrons are like this. But if you want the inverted chevron, it's that. Or if you want to do it both ways, then you have to make one one way and then do it again for the other, the other way. But you cannot do a uh, chevron, inverted chevron, at the same time. And then if you want a square in the corner there, you got the you just place the uh, die wherever you want to place the, your your uh, your square, and you can place it there. You can place it there. You can place it down here. You can place it down here. You can place it over here. Or no, you can't place it there. Or you can't place it over there. Just and then that's your dot. And let's say you want a mix of colors. Let's say you want to have a red gradient. So we're gonna make 16 of those white into red. And then we're going to take the white with red base gradient. We're going to take some blue lapis lazuli, or lazuli. And we can do like that. We can give it a pennant. Or what would really be interesting. Oh yeah, you can do a red, white, and blue inverted and regular gradients. So let's go ahead and stick with that, because I like the way that looks. You start off with blue, fades into white, which is your base banner, and then fades right into red, which is what we've started off with initially. Now, let's say you want to put something in there as a design. Let's take a uh, white, and you can put a dot right there. But if you're not satisfied with that, you can take a notch apple and stick it in there, and now you have the Mojang symbol. Or if you really want to go fancy, you could take your creeper heads and place it here, and now you got the face of a creeper. Now to get the wither design, you would just need to take your wither skeleton skulls and get the skull and crossbones effect right there. So you can have red, white, and blue with a white crossbones, skull and crossbones. You can have you can have it being pink. You can put it in brown, green. Can't really see that from the thumbnail. So let's give it a lime green and see. There we go. Lime green. That actually looks really good. I like that design. You can have it in orange. Lots of different colors to choose from. You can put light blue if you want. In fact, that looks really good too. But I don't really want a skull and crossbones. And then let's say you want a nice sun design right there. A nice floral design, which also gives the appearance of the sun. You take your oxidide, uh, oxide daisies and you put it there, and then you get the effect of the sun. Let's say you don't want that color, but let's say you want, uh, well, let's try to make it yellow. There we go. You got yellow. There are numerous different methods that you can use, and there is just tons of different designs and banners that you can make. I think whatever we have here should be good enough, 
because I really do like that design. That is a nice design. Let's get to take a blue banner, and then let's take our die or our uh, gradient. Let's take our red die and make a red gradient. So there we have that again. But uh, you notice there's not going to be any white in the middle. This is going to be red. So we can actually take it with a different color. And let's see what light blue would look like with a blue ray gradient. See. Okay, so here we go. If you want more of like a look about uh, like a sky blue type of thing, you know, then you would go that route. Let's say you want to do a nice sunset design or sunrise design. You would take a purple banner. You would take uh, some yellow, perhaps. So it's going to be sunrise. So let's see what this would do. Okay, well, that's almost right. Okay, yeah, I had it right the first time. Put this down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the gradient at the bottom. So there you go. You signify your sunrise. And then, you know, you got your purple midnight sky here. So let's go ahead and work with that. So, oops, oops. I just clicked on the wrong one. I want that. And I kind of wanted to get, like, the image, like, of the sun. So if I were to do that and then do that, that looks really good. That looks really, really good. Um... Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I did it again. Click it from here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm really liking that design. So there's that design. Um, all right, now let's go with something really, really awesome. You take your yellow banners, and then you take your red, and you make this fire background right here. So you take your fiery background, and now you can take your orange dye, and you can take like a creeper head and you can make that and then make it look really nice and creepy you can make it red if you want to you can make it blue but you know best to keep to colors that mix well together you well pink yeah, actually surprisingly magenta looks not too bad but if you go pink yeah it might not look as good and if you go lime green yeah it'll granted it'll look a little creepy there but if you went red and i need to get some more red dye let me get some more red dye, because you can never have too much red dye. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make us a red angry creeper banner on a fiery background. Okay, now let's say you want to make something a little more intricate than just gradients and faces and flowers and the Mojang symbol. All right, let's go something black. Let's take a white. Well, we don't even have to take a gradient to that. Let's do a uh, pennant design, uh, a chevron, inverted chevron. There's that. Okay, so let's take those. And now put this back down again. And what we're going to do is we will do the regular chevron in a different color. Let's go... What would look good there? Do I have any more lapis? No, I don't. I need to get more lapis. Well, actually, no. Give me purple. We'll do a raven's color. Oh, there we go. There we go. I like that. I'm liking that. All right. So now we have a white inverted and a, and a purple regular chevron on a black banner. So now we want to put a little design in the middle of that. So let's go uh, magenta. No. That blends too much with the purple. We can do a cyan if we want to. But now, in actuality, I want to take this red. And what I want to do with this red is I want to draw an X. And you can actually do that by doing like this. So now you got an X design. So now you can take your chevrons and you can have them inside these X's and now you have four chevrons. Let's do that. I'm liking this design so far. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get all of these, as many as I can get. There we go. And uh, for the rest of the four that are like that, let's get the light blues. Make an X with light blue. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take the design we just, uh, well, whoa, hello. Okay, that one kind of messed up. I don't know where we messed up with that. Those are the ones I'm looking for. All right, so now we're going to take the initial ones we made with the red X. And we're going to make a cross going across the way with, mm, let's make white. And now you got that design. But say if you don't like the white, 
You can make it any other color. You can make it brown if you want to. And the brown kind of looks like it blends in better. You can do green. Oops. Yeah, green that's not really crying out to me. Let's take magenta. No. Nope. I'm thinking it's red. I think red would I mean no doubt about it. Red 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 really does go with, with that. Um I'm done with the flowers for now, so go back in here and take our red dye. Make that line across, and now you got this design. So now, we've put it through four times. We're about ready to make it five. And now you can go for a center image. What are we going to do? Let's put... We can do white in the center. Do I have any more red or yellow? I got red. We do red, but you won't really see that very well. So let's go orange. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's take that. Let's go with that. I'm liking this. Okay, now we put it through five times. What more can we do to it? Can we give it a gradient over this? We can, but it's going to cover your image. So, especially if you use an unusual color like cyan against all these colors. Um, but let's go ahead and give it a purple gradient because we got a purple inverted down there. And probably not good to do a gradient over all of your designs here. But let's say if we want to take a notch apple and we make that red as well no we can make it black black would be the standard color as you can see uh we can make it white Ooh, i actually like this i actually actually like this uh but let's take the notch apple out and let me get whoa hello come on <laughs> And uh, let me get uh, some more flowers. Let me get some more of those daisies. And wouldn't you know it, I'm out of room. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> what can I replace? Well, let's get rid of this flubbed up design. I really don't. That Once you mess it up, there's no way to fix it. Okay, so we take your nine banners here that we just made. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our creeper heads there. And, ooh, wow. Wow. Even with the black, that looks cool. But let's see what happens if we turn it now. Red would blend too much. Orange blends way too much. The black, I'm liking the black really well. I'm really liking the black. The green eh, might be a little bit creepy, but you really lose the effect of the background. But I think the black really makes it look creepier. Look at that. I like this. I'm keeping it as is. Look at that. Now you have six... And this is the maximum amount of times you can put a banner through to give it a unique design. So now, what do you say we take our design, we leave our crafting room, and what I want to do is I want to find a nice bright area. Let's put it underneath this light and see how well it looks. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look astonishing? Now, that is pretty darn good for putting this same banner through the crafting table six times to get this effect. I like it. Don't need to do anything more to it. I like that. And what you can do is the only way you can duplicate custom banners like this. You cannot duplicate banners if you put more banners in to a crafting table and put this design in with your banners. You can't do that. But my suggestion is if you want to make duplicates of your banners, here's what you got to do. Uh, we got nine of these, so put all nine of these out. Or however many you want to, because remember, stacks of 16 are all you can carry in one stack. So let's put out 16 of them, or as many as we can get away with. And we'll just put them all over the walls. And then what you're going to do... Oh, you can overlap them. Look at that, you can overlap them. I did not know you could do that. Hey, you learn something new every day on Minecraft, don't you? Okay, so we're just going to toss a whole bunch of these up onto the walls and... We're not even keeping count, because I really do like this design. I want to get more of these in case, you know, I lose a whole bunch of these. And you can put them up as, as stands like this and put them all over the place. 
So if you really want to duplicate, first you have to go into creative mode and do what I'm doing here. Put a whole bunch of the banners that you like and just totally, totally res them out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to uh, enable your cheats, of course. And if you don't have cheats enabled, what you would need to do to fix that situation is to hit the escape key. And you want to go to open to LAN, and this is what you do if you do not have cheats enabled. You open the LAN, and now you click this button, allow cheats on, start LAN world, and they give you a port number, but you really don't need that, unless you want to invite some friends into your Minecraft world. Uh, but for the most part, now we have cheats enabled, and now we can use these typing commands. And uh, what we're going to need to do, um, well, I actually made a... Uh, couple of attempts to make part two of this video and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to but uh, as you can see I was able to collect a lot more than just nine but uh, basically what we uh, did was uh, let's say we were in make sure we're in creative mode so game mode C we'll get you into creative mode all right so this is basically how you can duplicate your banners, especially the ones you want to keep and get a good supply of. You just start resing a whole bunch of these ones out. So, I'm going to have to do this again to show everybody, but you get the general idea. And then you want to go to your axe, and then before you start hacking away at all those things, you want to go back to survival mode. So game mode S sends you back into survival mode. Now take your axe and start wailing on all of those banners. Grab all those banners up, and you'll be able to collect them. Plain and simple, not too difficult. Don't want to get near a treasure box with an axe. And once you got all of your banners taken back, you will find that all the banners you put out and collected back have now reached your inventory. Uh, no, I think I broke a window, didn't I? I broke a window, yes. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Uh, since I'm in survival mode, but uh, let me do this first. Um... That's this banner we made, so let's put this banner. So now we have made one, two, three stacks of banners. And there might be more, too. I'm looking. I don't see any others. So we were able to now duplicate our banners, and that's, that's basically the way you want to duplicate your banners. Now... Come back over to our crafting table because there's some more crafting we need to do. Now, I also want to show you other designs that you can do. Now, first and foremost, I must tell you that uh, in order to layer your designs properly, the first design you put down on a banner is the first design that's going to be at the bottom of the design. And the very last design is going to be at the very top. So this will help determine how to go about layering your different patterns. So you have to practice good layering. For instance, let's take the black banner. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a checkerboard now. And I didn't show you this yet. You take your bricks, and then you take your colored dye, and you can make white bricks on a black background, blue bricks on a black background, green, orange, red, you know, the, the list goes on and on and on. So let's just keep it simple and go black and white. There you go. So let's take those. And now let's take our, our uh, brick design here. And what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, what am I feeling here? Let's take the wither skulls. 
And you can have like a nice brick with wither skulls. And you can make the skull and crossbones lime green. You can make it white. You can make it red if you want to. Or what you could also do is you could take a nice gradient lime green and have it do that. Or instead of lime green, we can make it practically any color you want to. We can take uh, we can take red, make a gradient. Yeah, I like that actually. That looks a lot better. So let's make a gradient red over all of that, and we'll just leave this. So now we'll take our 15 banners that we just made, and let's add to this. Um, oh, also, if you really wanted to, too, you can do like this. Um, I think. There we go. Okay, now you can actually take half and half going diagonally, too. I forgot to show you that as well. Um, but, yeah, that also applies on this side, too. You put that over here and that over there, or you can go up. Or this side here. Very simple, not too difficult, but that will make it look kind of unusual. So what we will do now, I want to see what this will look like. Take your blue lapis lazuli. There we go. Okay, I li I'm liking that design. Okay, we still got some more of that design, so... Um, should we take the orange? Let's take the orange and make an orange gradient up there. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's take the rest of that and make an orange gradient. So that way we have two different colors to work with. Now let's take our blue and red. And what we could do also is take like a purple line going across if you want to. Um, but um, what I'm really feeling though is I want to take a daisy right there. Put a sun up. And uh, we're going to change that purple, green, what would look good there, green, white maybe, could make it white if you want, or we could just make it typical black and just take that out. Or we could take a creeper. Or a skull and crossbones. In fact, I like the skull and crossbones design. So let's go ahead and pick a color for our skull and crossbones. We can go lime green. We can go regular green. We can go pink. Doesn't that look fabulous? But I'm thinking purple. Purple because it, it's it's kind of subtle. Not doesn't stand out too much. Now uh, with the rest of them, like here. Uh, that's what I want to put the sun design on. So, um, let's take our orange and then our daisies and we'll put an orange flower with an orange gradient. I know it'll blend in, but wait till you see what I have in store now. Okay, now we're going to take the same banner one more time and we are going to take a, let's take a wither head. Okay, let's put that there and turn it red. Okay, so I'm kind of interested if we should go with that or should we go with the, blow, the skull and crossbones. No, nope, Witherhead. Witherhead probably looks like a lot nicer. So, let's take the Witherhead and make it red on a brick background and a gradient. There's one other design I wanted to show you. Um, so for that, let me get the light blue banner and with the white, what we're going to do is we're going to make what is called Chief Indents. Chief Indents basically make it look Native American. And what we're going to do is do it for the top and the bottom. So there's your Chief Indent. And we'll just make them out of white. And then make more. And make more. And make more. Okay, so now we have five of those left. So we have 11 to work with. So now we're going to take and put these on the top 
And for the bottom part, let's make that out of light blue. Well, you're not going to see that because it's on a light blue banner. <laughs> My mistake. Let's go with darker blue. Oh, that's the pennant design. Sorry. Inverted, uh, inverted that. That would be like that design. Okay, so we'll have white, light blue, and dark blue uh, base indents. So take that back. Take these banners. Put them back in here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to then insert... Let's insert a brick design and see where we've got to go with... Okay, that's going to go over. Um, we could do maybe a stripe to go across that. Okay. I'm feeling something. Let's take the stripe design there. Okay, now... Let's put it through a fifth time. And what we're going to do now is... Uh, we will put a... Mm, give me a skull and crossbones over that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now let's make it... No, don't want to make it light blue. Let's make it red. Okay, that does kind of make it stand out if it was black. Let's make it green. Or we can make it lime green. That doesn't really look good. I like the black. Let's, let's, let's just leave it black. Okay, so let's leave it like that. What I kind of want to do is take some red, make it half. Okay, there we go. So the top half will be red, the bottom half will be white. Or is it the top half needs to be white and the bottom half red? Top and bottom white, red. I think, it's, I, think I had it the right the way the first time. Yeah, I did. Okay, so if I remember right, that's going to do the Pokeball. Okay, now I'm going to need some more red dye, so let me get some more red dye. Like I said, you can never have too much red. Now take the rest of the banners. There's the eight. Make it half. So now we got 16 of those. And now what we'll do is we'll take our white stripe, go across like that, or we'll take a black, make a black stripe, make a black stripe, we'll make a black stripe. Oh, I need more black, don't I? Yeah, I need to stock up on more dye. It's a good thing I'm in creative mode when I do this. I would like be running back and forth like crazy. All right, let's take our other 11 here, and we'll make the rest of the black stripes going across like that. Take these back, and now we have our 16 like this, and now what we're going to do is put that dot right in the middle, just like that, um, which is the best we can do. I mean, this is Minecraft after all. Um, so there's our Pokeball so far. Uh, what we could probably also do is, now that we have that, put another black stripe across. And eh, no, that's not going to work. Darn. I was hoping it would. Um, okay, I think that's the best that we can do. Unless we go in the middle with the dot. The black dot. Well, you know, I like that. The, I like that a lot better. It stands out more. So, yeah, let's put that black dot there. Okay. But it still has the white roundel, which is the white dot that we put in there. So the white dot is still there. Even though you covered it with the black, it's still there. So it still counts as an enhancement. Um, even if we went back and did that and put it back in. Now now I can see a little outline there. Now I can see an outline there. So now I'm going to take that. Oh, I need more white again. I'm out of white again. Okay, give me some more white dye. Or bone meal. Now we can see an outline. So now, that's what you want to do. Okay, now I think I'm done with that. Let's go out here. And let's make a treasure box for this. First, let's res out our... That turned out nice. I like that. Okay, that's worthy of keeping. 
Okay. Put our next two treasure boxes out. And... I'll just go ahead and stick that... Oops, not there. I'll just go ahead and stick that there. That's just a uh, standard brick wall. I got the other one over there, the white background with the black bricks. Now here's the inverted version of it. Okay. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Okay, let's go back over this way. And put our skull and crossbone there. That kind of looks nice. I don't, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. What do you think? I, you know, it's not too, not too, uh, not too, you know, standout-ish. It's nice and subtle. You, know, you have to really get a good look at it. But I don't, all in all, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, what I really like is this design here. You can really see that creeper face. And boy, does that background look mad. Okay, I like that one. That's a keeper. And finally, our Poke... Uh, Pokemon design. Oh, let, let's put this one up first. That's our Native American one. Our Native American Jolly Roger. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. Okay, put that in there. I'm going to need some more room. I don't know, guys. I'm going to need some more room here. That's okay. I can put another one here. Okay. And needless to say, I don't think I need to make any more banners. I think I've made plenty. But uh, let's take the first design here, and that's our first Pokemon-like design, which <laughs> I got the idea to do later on. Um, I'll just make one more box right here. And I could just make single chests. I should have thought of that in the first place, but I'm used to making double chests, so <laughs> so what? Now, finally, our Pokeball look. That doesn't look too bad. I like it. I like it. We don't have to do anything more to that. So, there you have all of the banners we worked on, and all the banners I worked on prior to making this video, which are all kept here. And you can use your imagination in so many ways to come up with so many designs and so many ways to express a different design in every single one of them. You're only limited by your own imagination, so let your imagination grow wild. Just let it go and see which directions it will take you. And you can come up with the most interesting designs and a lot of them will be unique because not you, you can go through the entire list of possibilities and not make the same banner twice. And that's what I love about these banner designs. There are so many combinations you can use and so many ways to really make a unique banner, especially if you are mining as part of a team and you want to have a team banner. Well, you're probably not going to have the same banner as anybody else. There are just way too many combinations and way too many styles to match any other. So, whatever it is that you feel, whatever it is that you make, let your imagination grow wild and just see what all you can come up with. And you can come up with a lot of different banners if you put your imaginations to it. And I would love to see all of your designs too. So if you do a video response to your own banner designs, uh, post them in the comments below. I would love to see what you come up with. And that just about wraps it up for this edition of Let's Play Minecraft. In our next episode, I'm going to show you how to tame and breed ocelots, which I know are a pain in the neck, but there is a technique in which you can do, uh, in which you can use to um, tame <clears throat> in which you can tame wild ocelots. On the next episode of Let's Play, I'm going to show you how to do just that. You know what? I want to move you back. Because you're getting a little too close for comfort. I'm going to move you down here where there's room. Right next to the American flag. How about that? And then that'll be the last banner I design. So, I'm going to do that real quick. And then stick my Pokeballs and banners there. And there you have it. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, now here's something else you can do with banners. Now, 
uh, you, not only can you put interesting designs on them, you can also make things uh, if you know how. And you have to take six steps in order to make them. If you make any, take any more steps than six, you're not going to be very satisfied. So uh, let's go ahead and do something really spectacular. I'm going to show you how to make a, a dragon banner. A dragon banner. First of all, you're going to want to take some black banners. We're going to make 16 of them. And what we're going to do is, uh, you can also take vines. I also forgot to show you this too. Vines. And let's make a green. Let's make a green dragon on a black background. So uh, you got that design, which gives you sort of like an interesting border here. Okay. Then we're going to take that banner. And we're going to use the same background. You can use any color dragon, any color ba uh, banner. But whatever the background of your banner is, you're going to need that in ink. And we're going to make a stripe going along there. So we cover it up with the color of the background banner. So we're going to take that. Next, we're going to take some red. You can take your daisy, make flower. Okay. And after that, you're going to take the same background as your banner. Once again, with the... Actually, no, you're going to take the color of the... Uh, uh, dragon itself, you're going to make it green. So you're going to take a green stripe going across the middle there. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take now the same color as the background, which is black, and we're going to make the pennant shape. Okay. And finally, we're going to take our notch apple and the rest of our green. And there's your dragon. Take the banner, and now you have a dragon banner. Isn't that something? Isn't that too cool? That is so, so very awesome. And it only took you six steps to get there. So let's go ahead and put that in our new box. So there you have it. Now you can have a dragon banner. Now this kind of thing requires a lot of. Now, see, you can make it out of. Uh, you can make a uh, black dragon on a green background, or you can make a green dragon on a black background, lime green. You can make any color you want. Let's do the same thing with blue. Let's take the uh, blue banner here. We're going to make a light blue dragon on a dark blue background. Take your blue banner. Take your vines, take some light blue dye, make that. Okay, now you take your banner again. Now whatever color you have in the background is what you want to have covered up on that side. So take your lapis and cover that one side with blue. Next, we are going to implement our flower design in the middle. So we're going to take uh, the red, make our flower. Okay, now take your banners. And whatever color you have as the dragon. You're going to want to take and make the line across. And then whatever color your background is, you're going to have to take your lapis lazuli and make your pennant or your chevron there. Okay, you're going to take that. And finally, take your notch apple and your blue. And there you go. There's your light blue dragon on a blue background. Now you just got to remember doing that same step over and over again. Just keep in mind whichever dragon color you want, or whatever background color you want, you have to follow those steps accordingly. So let's go ahead and stick a banner on top of that so we know which banner is in this chest. And there's your blue dragon. Now, I know, there's a lot of fire dragons out there, so let's make a fire dragon to end, uh, to end on this note. And uh, I'll show you some other things you can do. Um, now we're going to take our 16 yellow banners and we're going to start off by taking our vines turn it red okay now take your banner and the same background as the other yellow we need yellow dye okay so take some yellow dye uh... there it is and we're going to take our banners our yellow dye cover up that side got it Okay, and then let's make our flower design out of orange. So we're going to take that and our daisy, 
and make an orange flower. Let's do that. Then you're going to want to make your stripe going across with the red dye. Just like that. Then, with once again taking the same color as the background and making your chevron out of it, we need more yellow dye for that. So let's get some more yellow dye. Okay, so now you're going to take your banner. Where's the banner? Where's my banner at? Okay, there it is. And we're going to make our chevron uh, the same color as the background itself. Let's just do it this way. Okay, make it the same color as the background. And then finally, take your notch apples and your red dye. Bink! There's your dragon with an orange tongue. And you are going to impress the heck out of all your friends when you show them your custom dragon banner. Look at that. Nice. So, how many people out there are wanting to get out there and start crafting some dragon banners? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there. And this time we're going to have a green background. And let's do... What, what colors do we have an exuberant amount of? We can do green on blue. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do green on blue. Okay, so take your vines. Okay. And then lapis lazuli. No, no, no. Take your green. Then take your flower. Then we'll take your uh, blue again. Make the stripe. Oops, that's not a stripe. Okay, then we need more lapis lazuli. Take your banners. And with the same color of background, make your chevron. And finally, ending off with your notch apple and your green dye. Blue dye. Sorry. There we go. Let's go ahead and place them in this chest. There he is. Hi, dragon. Looks so happy, doesn't he? Like he's happy to come and build and burn your village down to the ground. I really like the red dragon, the white, the with the red, uh, with the orange fire. I really like that design. The black one on green is pretty good too. But that is how you make your dragon banners. Now, uh, also, uh, what you could do with um, these banners here is you could take your die all the way around and make a border. That's yet another thing you can do. Make a border. And let's make a... Uh, good, goes good with orange. Yellow usually does. Red. We can make a red border. But if you want a gradient, first do the gradient, then do your border, and then make your design. But there you have those designs. Okay, put your yellow die down there. Take this other banner here, and take your red die here. There's that. And then what you can do here is maybe take like the flower in the middle. Or you can put a black flower design in there. But just know that you're going to have a red in the background, so it's got to match whatever color you want to have it match up with. I am seeing the flower design, so let me go ahead and work with the white. Put the white on there. Yeah, the white should do good. White's the only one that I can think of. Okay, and then let's do a black for this one. Put the flower in. I like that. All right. So now we have the bordered banners. Let's put you guys over here. 
Not too bad, says I. Goes in there. Uh, we're running out of room. <laughs> we're totally running out of room on these. Let's put that there. Okay, now with our black sun. Black hole sun. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, doesn't look bad at all. Okay, here's one of the flubbed up designs that I came up with over here, and I, I call this guy Laughing Sam. <laughs> but uh, that's one of the ones that got flubbed up, and I made something out of it, so. But uh, what I'm really impressed with are some of the other things you can do over here, like with these skeletons. These are like the Skeleton King and Queen, and I'll show you how to do that real quick as well, because there's another design I have yet to show you, because there's so many designs, I can't even keep track of them all. So, with a white banner, Let's do a skeleton king. So what you want to do is you want to put this in the middle, and then you want to take your black ink and make a diamond shape around the banner itself. That's not going to be enough. Okay, that'll be enough. Now, you get your diamond design, or <laughs> black lozenge, it says. I'm sorry, but when I think of a lozenge, I think of something you suck on when you have a sore throat. Then what we're going to do is we will take our wither skulls, make it white, or actually that's the third step. The second step is our flower. Uh, we're going to take a black flower and make that design. All has to be the same color. Then we want to take our wither skulls and make that design. Okay. Now, you got your diamond shape, you got your flower shape, you got your wither. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take with our black die and make the bottom part, which is the bottom chevron. And finally, what the hell happened there? Oh, I hate the shift key sometimes. When you don't have enough and then it just makes that. That's ruined. Okay, so we'll jump that in a moment, but we got 11 good ones we can use here. And finally, we're going to decorate the very top of that with some more black ink, and that's where I fouled up because I needed more ink sacks. So we're going to take the 11 banners, and we're going to make the, the uh, black chief indented on the top, and there you have your skeleton king. Now let's make a queen to that king. And we're going to take a yellow one this time. And do the same thing we did before. So we're going to make a red diamond. Just like that. Take your red diamond banner. Make the flower. I need more flowers. <laughs> you never have too many of these dang things. I'm so glad I'm in creative mode. Having to go out and get all this stuff is very unnerving. Um, with your flower design, you want to make it red. Then you want to go for your wither skulls, and you want to make that any other color you want to. You can make it orange, you can make it... Well, let's just stick to white. Stick to white. And then finally... Red, we're going to finish, uh, or actually second to last, we're going to put the bottom part, which is the uh, red chevron. Uh, we're going to make sure we have enough. There you have it. And finally at the top, our red chief indent. And there you have your skeleton king and your skeleton queen, and you have this messed up thing. I really don't need, so I'm just going to junk it. You really got to watch that shift key when you're working on your banners. You also want to make sure you have enough uh, material. But these banners are perfect for if you do player versus player. And you want to have, like, uh, say, like red skeleton against black skeleton, you know. I think that would be just absolutely perfect to do something like that. And you can have, like, skeleton versus dragon... Wither versus uh, Creeper. Lots of other things. Lots of other designs. You can have country go against country. You can have USA against Japan. 
I mean, just like Pearl Harbor all over again. I'm mean, no. <laughs> now you, you might want, you might not want to put the USA with Japan. <laughs> I'll start getting some ideas. <laughs> and you can have like red versus blue. You can have scary versus pleasant. You can have the rising sun versus uh, crumbling wall. <laughs> I don't know. You, the choices. I mean, there's just literally millions upon millions of different designs. And if you make some mistakes make something out of them. Except for, well, when you got, well, what I just junked, which I didn't really keep around, but if you got something like that, or if you go over here, like, with Laughing Sam over there, and you put something like that together, you just do something, you know, make something out of it, if you can. But, the rule of thumb here is just, uh, be careful with how many, uh, items you have. Be careful with that shift key if you ever use it. So, anyhow, that wraps it up for this edition of Let's Play Minecraft and I will see you next time when I go into the jungle and drag back some domesticated cats that we will tame out of wild ocelots and I'd love for you to come join me when that time comes. So remember if you like what you see in these videos like, subscribe, spread it like wildfire, tweet it, retweet it, and tweet it again. Tweet it three times if you need to and tell friends about it. Tell them where to catch all the action right here in this very channel. And I will see you next time. And um, thanks for viewing, and we love you all. Take care out there, and happy mining.